Hey, what's going on? Keith here from Sports Vibes TV. And in this video, we're going to be looking at Luca Vildoza. Now, I dropped a video a couple days ago discussing Luca Vildoza and the signing. And a few of you guys wanted me to go a little bit more in depth, kind of break down the player and see what he can contribute. So that's what I went ahead and did. Now, if you like this video, I would just ask you to consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell icon. That way you're notified whenever I do drop new content. So let's look at Luca Vildoza and some of the information I was able to, you know, find. So here we are with Luca Vildoza, 25 years old. He's 190 pounds and he's played four years professionally for Balconia. One thing I like about this player is he's had some experience playing both with and against NBA players. Like, you know, when these European players come over, the big question is, will they be able to compete against the athletes here in the NBA? And what we have with Vildoza is he's played with Luis Scola. He's played with Campazzo. Scola, oh. NBA veteran, no longer in the league, but I'm sure they've discussed the NBA. And Campazzo, he's a player that's currently in the NBA now. He's going crazy for the Nuggets. And a lot of people are trying to see if Vildoza can come over here and perform similar to Campazzo. So that's one positive we have going for him. Next positive, uh, Vildoza has played against NBA competition. He was in the FIBA tournament, went up against Batum, Gobert, Fournier, and Nilakina. Yes, Frank Nilakina. And to see him go over there, and actually he had a pretty good game, beat France. They ended up winning the silver in that FIBA tournament. If I'm not mistaken, this was in 2019. And in that game, he had 10 points, four rebounds, and five assists all in 16 minutes and to see that there's some familiarity with him and frank nilakina is good as well even though that they were you know opposing teams on me on opposing teams the fact that there is some familiarity with their european history and, and international play i think that's dope now if you're going to look at luca vildoza and what he could possibly contribute to this team you have to start with defense because as we all know with tibbs you can't play defense. You're not going to get any time on the court. So defensively, he has the ability to guard both guard positions. Uh, he's not a lockdown defender, but he plays hard on defense, willing to fight over screens. And I think that's something Tom Thibodeau is definitely going to like. I'm pretty sure that's what they saw from him over in Europe. And they said he will definitely fit with what we're trying to build here. So that I like the way that he plays hard, uh, smart team defender when you're watching him play defense you don't really see him get beat too often uh active hands good anticipation and timing on strips i think he's definitely good at pickpocketing opposing guards that's going to be key here in the nba he's just going to have to make sure he's not too handsy because you already know refs have been doing us wrong all season all they need is a nondescript player to come in and they're blowing the whistle like crazy remember that time frank nilakina came in or was it the nets game and then they just started blowing the whistle like crazy i wouldn't be shocked if they would do it to a player similar to this with the way i've seen him been active with the hands so that's one thing he's gotta you know be you know temper down just a little bit but i've seen him pick pockets uh and look pretty good out there on defense as an all ball defender now next we're going to move from defense and get into what he can provide offensively now this is where we can definitely some see some major gains especially if he starts to take minutes from say an alfred payton so if he's able to take minutes from an alfred payton and crack the lineup he'll be a guard that can initiate the offense in half court sets he'll be able to play off ball and operate in catch and shoot situations I think that'll be great. Uh, there was a game where he was able to knock down a clutch three-point shooter. If I'm not mistaken, it was in last year's uh, Spanish League Finals. Now, the next, he excels in pick-and-roll situations, adept at passing with both hands. There's a few highlights that I've watched of, of him, and the fact that he's able to make pinpoint passes with both hands coming off, you know, coming around screens, I think is beautiful. Uh, I think it can be definitely something that we could use here with the Knicks. Like if you look at Emmanuel quickly, Emmanuel quickly has been feasting off pick and rolls a lot. And if we now have a guard that can both score 
as you can see, he's also a, a, a three-level scorer. If he can score off the pick and roll and he's a little bit more of a willing passer, you know, not to say Quick's not a willing passer, but I think we would all agree Quick's usually looking for his shot first and then he'll look for teammates once that's been, you know, neutralized. So I think now we'll have Vildoza, who's more so of a, of a traditional point guard when it comes to what he's trying to do out there on the court i think he'll definitely be a nice piece if he were to crack the rotation for us offensively and crafty while attacking the basket i've seen that a lot he'll you know attack the basket drive the basket and he's going to take the usual two steps he'll probably take one step and go up just to throw the defender's timing off i've seen that quite a few times so I i've liked what i've seen from film and I also want to just show you guys what an international scout has to say about Luca Vildoza. So let's just pull it up. If you can see here, this is from Jason Filippi. He said this to uh, Knicks Fan TV, and he says he has a strong build and is a decent athlete for a Euro guard. Gritty, hard nosed defender, creative passer who is a good pick and roll player i think he has just average natural talent but makes up for it with toughness and hard play he has a knack for making big shots including an exciting game winning buzzer beater in last year's spanish league finals now this is coming from an international scout named jason filippi and i'm liking everything i'm hearing from this scouting report he's a player that didn't get by on talent alone he's a player that's hard nosed he, he put his head down works hard and he gives his all out there and i think that type of player fits in perfectly with what we're trying to build here as a team now you guys let me know what you think down in the comments are you happy with this signing did this video change anything in how you viewed luca vildoza once again, let me know your comments down below. I'm Keith, host of Sports Vibes TV, and I'm out.